لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسوة حسنة لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر وذكر الله كثيرا. The author رحمه الله said that the things which attract iman and strengthen iman are two: مجمل ومفصل. يعني general affairs. And then there are specific affairs. As far as the general affairs, he says they are التدبر لآيات الله المتلوة من الكتاب والسنة. يعني contemplation of the signs of Allah. يعني آيات الله المتلوة that which is يعني recited تلاوة the آيات of Allah that are recited. يعني that are read from the book of Allah, the Quran, and from the Sunnah of the Prophet. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yani contemplation on these ayat in the Quran and that which came in the Sunnah. And we know that the Quran as well as the Sunnah according to Ahl Sunnah Jama'ah are both revelation. They are both revelation. The second thing he said, At-ta'ammul li ayat al qawniya ala ikhtilaf an wa'iha. That is the reflection, the contemplation of the ayat al yani the universal signs in the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in consideration that there are many different types yani of the things that Allah has created in the universe, the moon, the stars, the sun, yani the rivers, the trees, mountains, whatever, all types of things. Reflecting on these things, contemplating over the creation of Allah to see the greatness of Allah and His magnificence and His power and His wisdom. The third thing he said, al hirsu ala ma'arifat al-haq al-ladhi khulqa lahu al-abd. Yani being diligent and eager and feeling urgency to know the truth for which the human being has been created. And the last, the fourth thing he said, al-amal bil-haq, acting upon that truth. Yani being diligent in seeking to know the truth and then acting upon it. And then he says, yani the author, him Allah, so all of these asbab, yani jamil asbab, all asbab, all causes of iman, of strengthening iman, of increasing iman, they all go back to this great, yani asl, this foundation. Yani knowing the truth and acting upon it. Knowing the truth and acting upon it. The Shaykh Abdul Razak, Hafizullah, he says concerning this, هذا إجمالا. فيما تكون به زيادة الإيمان. يعني this is general, يعني يعني uh, general idea of those things uh, which are the causes, يعني through which iman is increased. Uh, يعني that a person gives care to the book of Allah جل وعلا and the Sunnah of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم كراءة وفهما وعقلا. للمعاني والدلالات عملا بكتاب الله وسنة نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يعني that a person gives care to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم يعني in terms of reading it understanding it and comprehending intellectually يعني the meanings and the indications that are contained in what a person reads in the Quran and in the sunnah and then acting upon the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then acting upon it. Here he says, and likewise, Yani, the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, reading it, understanding it, comprehending it, and acting upon it. He said also, Yani, contemplation, reflection upon the ayat of Allah al Kawniya, Yani in the universe. Yani these signs, brilliant magnificent signs of the greatness and power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These things are witnesses, the, the signs in the creation, they are witnesses of the perfection of their creator and the greatness of the one who brought them into existence. Therefore, reflecting upon these things in the creation is a means of increase of iman for the person. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Ali Imran, 190th and 191st ayat, إِنَّ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاخْتِلَافِ اللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ لَآيَاتٍ لِأُولِي الْأَلْبَابِ To the end of the ayat, yani that indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation 
of the night and the day are signs for Ulul Albab, the people who have understanding. And then he mentions that they are those who remember Allah standing and sitting and lying on the sides, and they are reflecting, يَتَفَكَّرُونَ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Reflecting upon the creation of the heavens and the earth and what it contains of the power and might and glory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he ends with the saying of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, that uh, that those yani ulul albab the people who remember Allah standing and sitting and lying on the sides and reflect on the creation of Allah they say indeed Allah you have not created this batilan yani did, you didn't create all of this without a purpose without an objective subhanaka faqina adabina indeed you are the one free of imperfections so save us from the punishment of the fire the shaykh he says concerning this كَذَلِكَ إِجْمَالًا مِمَّا يَزِيدُ الْإِيمَانِ And likewise, from the general things that increase Iman is being diligent in knowing the truth for which the human being has been created and brought into existence for and acting upon that truth. And then he says, and all of yani the causes of increase and strengthening of Iman, all of them go back to this tremendous foundation. That is, knowing the truth and acting upon it.